My name's Tony Bugden. We're about 15 kilometres south of Omaru and we've got uh, 280 hectares here. We farm sheep, beef and a bit of crop. We've got untold number of Honda machines. We've got two 680 motorbikes and a big red and a various number of stationary engines. Our Honda motorbikes are our only way of transport around the farm. We don't have a ute or any vehicle like that. We solely rely on our Honda motorbikes. My father had Honda all his life too. I don't know what, he bought something like about 26 different bikes off Rick over the years and we just carried on with it of course. And now my son's on board, he'll probably do the same. If, depends how they treat him, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, no, we've always been Honda, yeah. During the winter, we're carting bales of baleage on a trailer behind them. They do get abused a bit, but no, they seem to hold together. We've got a block of ground, 10 k's down the road, so it's a fair haul up and down the road when you're dragging baleage, so, and we expect it to do it. We don't actually run tractor grip tyres on them like a lot of guys. Just for the road work, we just find they're too hard to hold on the road, but safety-wise, no, we can't fault them, really. Never had any hiccups at all, really. We used to run 300s and a few of them, and we got a crook back over the years mechanicking, and we just found they were a bit rigid to ride. So I ended up with a 650 Honda, which is the same suspension, and that's one of the reasons we stuck with it, just that smoother ride. It's when you're hooting across a paddock and you hit a sheep camp or something or a bull hole, they just sort of glide through it. Honda have been very, very good to us, actually, been very reliable, and if we're stuck, they always helped us out, so, you know, I can't complain about them at all.